YouTube, how's everyone doing? One shot bringing you guys another Call of Duty video. I know it's been quite some time, but here we are again. Modern Warfare 2 is around the corner. My excitement for Vanguard just went downhill after that game and didn't really find enjoyment making content for that game. But Modern Warfare 2 is here, and I gotta say, I'm excited after playing the beta. I'm excited to see what this game looks like at launch. Excited to see the new game mode DMZ as well as the new Warzone map with the new engine. It's gonna be an exciting year for Call of Duty, so hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, and comment is always appreciated to get the video noticed but here we are i'm gonna go through three of my likes and three of my dislikes from the beta i'm gonna keep this video short and then i'll go over some other things in some other videos first up on my list of things that i like about the game is definitely the maps the map design feels great this year there are three lanes but not cookie cutter three lanes there's still some other ways of movement throughout the maps the maps are very vibrant which is a switch up from the typical infinity ward grayish looking color scheme that they use it looks more like a treyarch art style which i'm excited and and I'm looking forward to see what other kind of maps we get in this game. Next up on my list of things that I like about the game is the gunplay. And obviously we were looking forward to the gunplay in this game since Modern Warfare 2019 had some of the best gunplay in any Call of Duty game. But it feels even more polished and more refined than Modern Warfare 2019, which is excellent. The guns feel heavy to the point where they're powerful, but not to the point where they feel clunky and where you can't move around the map. The guns sound good and with the new gunsmith and variants that you can use and all kinds of different attachments to use, it's going be really exciting to see all kinds of class setups that we're going to be able to make this year and number three on my list is the score streak kill streak toggle i think this is a huge feature the last couple of years we've kind of gone back and forth between score streaks kill streaks and then last year in vanguard you had to use a perk to be able to have them be score streaks this year it's as simple as toggling in the main menu whether or not you want to use kill streaks or score streaks and i think that is awesome it allows for everybody to play how they want if you want to switch it up and you're you're gunning people down you want to go for the kill streaks you can do that or if you want to play objective you can also do that get your score streaks either way it caters to how you want to play and i absolutely love that moving on to the things i dislike now i wanted to keep it three and three for a short video so the first thing on my list is the perk system the perk system is not good in my opinion on paper it might look okay but when you have perks like ghosts that are locked for four plus minutes throughout the game it just causes some different type of gameplay issues that i don't think we need to have in the game such as uav spam and just people being at a disadvantage if they join in late to the game i think that the whole idea is just not good i think they need to just give us four perks and maybe do like a pro perk type system or just go back to the original three perks per class and, and leave it at that i don't think this needs to be changed at all next up on my list i haven't seen many people talking about this one but networking and timing issues with the net code um, combined with the time to kill it feels like you're dying in one to two shots every time but if you look at the kill cam it's usually three four five shots um, um, and that's just because on their screen they're seeing you before you see them on their screen so it causes for some networking issues and some really quick deaths i hope they can figure this out i know it's just a beta but it's going to be frustrating if we're going to have to deal with this throughout the whole year because i know that this was an issue in modern warfare 2019 as well and last up on my list of dislikes is kind of two items that i put together but they're core cod features that have been removed and one is disbanding lobbies and two is the no radar ping when you shoot an unsilenced weapon on the radar our map first with disbanding lobbies that is a core cod feature that we've been missing out on for the last three years uh, some of the best social interactions on this game take place in the game chat whether it's good or bad you can create friendships and rivalries and it just adds another social aspect to the game that they have just completely been missing out on for the last three years so i'm sad to see that it's not in this game i hope they change their mind but they haven't made any mention on that and i doubt that they will and then the second part to my third dislike is the removal of no radar pings when you shoot an unsilenced weapon here and there seems to be a lot of back and forth about this one on Twitter I'm not too sure why because this is a core cod feature that does not need to be removed if anything it just promotes slower play with players not as confident to move around the map because they're not sure where the enemy is and the simple counter to this is if you don't want your weapon to show up on the mini map you can use a silencer I think that's a fair trade-off and it allows for both play styles but again this is a core cod feature that's been in just about every single Call of Duty game and I don't see the need for them to remove something like this but that's all I got as far as as beta feedback i wanted to keep this relatively short i'll go into some more depth on other topics in some future videos but thank you guys for watching i appreciate it let me know if you guys enjoyed the video if you do please be sure to comment down below a subscribe is always appreciated and i will see you guys in the next call of duty video